Hey church, it's October 26th, and this is the final prayer video for our season. This week, I'm gonna be asking us to pray and fast together for three different things. Really, it's for one thing. We're praying for our city, we're praying for our state, and we're praying for our nation. First of all, I want us to pray for harvest. In Luke 10, Jesus told his disciples, look at the harvest, it's ready to be reaped. And he said, pray to the Lord of the harvest. And he said, pray for workers. And then he turned to his disciples and said, you go. When we pray for the harvest, we're praying for workers to engage the harvest and we're ready to be a part of that. The Lord wants many people who don't know him to be saved in our city. And we're praying for that fervently this week. The second thing we're praying for is an outpouring. In Joel chapter two, the prophet prophesied that in the last days, the Spirit of God would be poured out on all people, young and old, men and women, people from all over the world. And then in Acts two, Peter uh, preached the message, quoting Joel two, saying what just happened, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit is, is as a result of that prophecy. Now, all the way later, 2,000 years later, we are surely living in the last days and we believe that a renewed emphasis on what God wants to do, pouring out His Spirit in our city, in our world, in our context is going to happen on young and old, on men and women, on people from all over the world. Let's pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. But finally, I want us to pray for revival. Revival is about the church. In Psalm 85, 6, the psalmist writes, Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? Listen, when we pray for revival, we're not praying for the world to come to Jesus. That's a harvest, an outpouring of the Spirit. When we pray for revival, we're praying for what God will do in the hearts of the church, that He will give us a fire for the reality of His life and His gospel. We're going to pray for a harvest and outpouring, but that can't happen until the church is revived. Sometimes a church gets into a rut and God works sovereignly to make sure that we don't get stuck in that rut. And that's exactly what he's been doing these last months. He's been preparing our hearts for revival. So this week, can we pray for revival fire in our hearts and in our church? The great historian of revival, J. Edward Orr, has made this famous statement. He said, no great spiritual awakening has begun anywhere in the world apart from united prayer. Christians persistently praying for revival. Can I encourage you to find a group of Christians? You can pray together, come together and earnestly seek revival in your life and revival in our church. Remember, ultimately when we pray for revival, we're praying for a fresh fire, but we're praying for the lost. People who don't know Jesus that are going to come to him because the church catches on fire for the Lord. Let's pray about that this week and join us next week on November 1st at 11 o'clock in the courtyard live as we worship the Lord, as we continue to pray together. God bless you.